Hello everyone, I hope you are having an amazing day. I, if you're quarantined, we're all there with you. Um, just hang in there, hopefully it'll all be over soon. We'll be back out enjoying the world. Um, just to jump right into the video, we have an absolute piece of art. This is the pinnacle of jade carving and craftsmanship. You can only achieve this masterful creation if you are a true master. Now this specific piece is not carved out of jadeite jade or nephrite jade, what we traditionally think of jade. This is actually serpentine, which is a Chinese jade, um, but not a true jade. It's not one of the true jade families, but it is a similar stone that has similar characteristics, but you can feel just from the texture, it's very waxy. Traditionally, this is done in nephrite jade or jadeite jade, with jadeite jade, of course, being the rarest, hardest, and most expensive. So uh, what this is, uh, sorry, the, this type of carving is called a family ball or a lucky ball, happiness sphere. It has many different names depending on the part of China that it is crafted. The pieces will depict uh, items, scenes from nature. We have uh, dragon scales going here, but you don't form a full dragon. Uh, you have flower motifs, nature motifs, traditional Chinese symbols of luck, wealth, prosperity. The balls themselves symbolize generations. So you have the outer generation here. This is, this is the great grandparent to the grandparent that holds the whole family together. Without them, none of the future generations could exist. Just like the jade carving, the sim symbolism here is that without the initial carving, none of the carvings within each of the carving could exist. None of the spheres within each sphere could exist, just like family. And what's even more amazing is that each and every single one of these spheres inside has been individually carved with its own concentric circles. Absolutely beautiful. This takes so much patience and craftsmanship. The exact technique is not known to those who are not in the jade world. But the essential process is a subtractive process where you gradually remove material until you get less and less, until you get to a point where you can thin out a line in between and then you would just carve right through. And you would be left with two distinct pieces. It takes absolute mastery of craftsmanship. Most jade carvers don't even attempt this without having at least five to 10 years under their belt. Uh, you can get lower end pieces carved out of Chinese jade starting from around $20. But of course that won't have the same level of craftsmanship and beauty as a piece like this. Absolutely phenomenal, absolutely gorgeous. I am very fortunate to own this piece. Uh, if you would like to own your own uh, sphere ball or any sort of jade carving, whether it's jade I jade, nephrite jade, if you want a certificate from the Gemological Institute of America, if you want a report from GRS, if you want a Hong Kong Jade and Stone Lab, we can get you anything. We have connections in Hong Kong, New York, Israel, India, uh, wherever there are gemstones, Thailand, Myanmar. We, buy, we don't buy from the secondary markets. We have facilities in Thailand, but that's more handling the cutting and certification. We're buying directly in Myanmar. When we have a Burmese ruby, chances are we bought that ruby in Burma. So that's how you get the absolute best quality and the best prices. That's why we have 100% positive feedback, five stars on Etsy, eBay, and Gemrock Auctions. We've never received a negative review and I don't plan on it anytime soon. Thank you so much for checking out this Core Gems video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like and subscribe and turn on notifications for more awesome gemstone content.